Hello everyone and welcome to today's session on Advanced Excel Part 3 by IntelliPad. In this video, we will learn how to create a dashboard by performing some specific functions on a particular dataset. So without further wait, let's start the session. But before we begin the session, make sure to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so that you'll never miss any update from us. Hello and welcome to yet another video by IntelliPad. In this video, I will be introducing you to dashboards in Excel. So dashboards, they keep a track of key performance indicators, metrics and other data points in one visual convenient location. They provide you with a high level picture of your job, allowing you to make quick decisions and keeping everyone informed. The visual structure of a dashboard simplifies complex data and provides a real time snapshot shot of the current status or performance. Tables, chart, gauges and figures make up dashboards. They are useful in almost any industry and for almost any purpose. You might create a project dashboard, a financial dashboard, a marketing dashboard and other types of dashboard. Let's take a look at the steps to create a dashboard. So the very first step will be to bring your data into Excel to set up the data in the Excel dashboard file. For the third step, we need to create a table with the raw data and now the data needs to be analyzed. Moving further, Further, we will build the dashboard by adding charts and pivot tables. The last step will be to customize with macros, colors, etc. Now for doing the hands-on, I have a dataset prepared. Let's take a look at the dataset and how we'll analyze it using the dashboard. Now this is the dataset that we have here. We have order date, region, rep, item, units, unit cost and total as our column headings. So this data right here is a sales data set. I don't have a lot of rows, but about 40 rows I have right here. And we will see how to analyze all this data. And let's take a quick look at all the analysis that I've already done. So first, I have a sheet in this same workbook. I have region-wise sales. I have a pie chart here. After that, we have revenue by sales rep. That is all the salesmen. What kind of revenue that have been brought by them to the company. Then we have object-wise region dashboard. It shouldn't be dashboard here. Let's fix that. We'll just put revenue. Okay. So we'll see all this from scratch one by one. Let me just delete all this. Now we'll move to our raw data. So the very first step in creating a dashboard, we have to make analysis of different kinds. So the very first step in that is making a pivot table. As I have talked previously in earlier videos, how to make a pivot table. So first thing that we need to do here is we'll keep our cursor that is we'll make one of the cells as the active cell that lies within the data set so we can choose any one of them i've put it here now we'll go to insert and right here you see pivot table we'll click on it now as our current cell was in the data set excel has automatically selected this as our source data now next thing it asks is choose where you want the pivot table to be placed we want it in the existing worksheet and we want it right here so I'll give the location as this cell and click on OK. There I have my pivot table and I also have my pivot table fields. I'll just stretch this for you. And as you can see, we have all the attributes that were present in this static table. They're all present here. Now, the first thing that we need to analyze is the region wise sales. As I already said, pivot table is just a dynamic version of a static table. So we can put and remove columns and rows as per our need. So we will do region wise sales. So we'll put a region in the rows and the total in the values. There you have it. So simple. Just two drag and click. There you have it. You don't need to go and uh, add all the totals from each of the regions you don't have to go search east and then add up all this total together we have it right here by just two clicks and now what we need to do is analyze it but before that we have two other steps the first step will be to select this table copy it and paste it in this sheet with the table the pivot table fields also travels so we have a pivot table fields also in case we want to make some changes. Now, as you see, as soon as my current cell is not a part of this pivot table, pivot table fields as well as pivot table tools, they both disappear. Now we will analyze this table. We'll go ahead and in pivot table tools, we have the tab called pivot table analyze. We'll click on it and right here you can see pivot chart and you get a bunch of options right here what kind of chart you want. Let's say I want a pie chart. So this is how it's gonna look, it looks fine by me. So I'll just click on okay and there I have it. There is my pie chart. Now I'll go ahead and remove this pivot chart fields. I don't need it anymore. 
so let me make a few adjustments now this pie chart until unless you don't bring your cursor on top of a particular area you won't get any analysis right by looking at it so i want to be able to make myself understand just by looking at this chart so let's make a few more changes let's say i don't want this you can just click on it and then right click and here you will see hide all field buttons on chart so i'll remove all that and here is the title and i want to put region wise sales there now still i can't see anything no numbers on top of the spy chart so i'll again click and right here you will see this plus button if i click on it and i want data tables if i want numbers on top these are called data labels let's say i click on it but here right here you can see an arrow let's see what do we have there here you will see what kind of fit you want you want it in the center inside end outside end best fit and we have data call out i say best fit is actually the best fit so we'll stick with it and this is done let me change the size i hope it is clear now but again by looking at this chart there is no symbol in front of these numbers this can mean anything it can be altitude it can be just numbers nobody can be sure that this is a currency this is the revenue made from each area so let's see how do we get a particular currency sign in front of these numbers so if you just click on these numbers click on one and all will be selected and then right click at the bottom of this list you will see format data labels click on it and here you will get a bunch of options and again at the bottom of this list you will see number if you click on it the category here says general but we know it is a currency so we can go ahead and select currency and again let's say we don't want any decimal places we'll put zero here and the symbol should be the rupee sign there it is we'll select english india and there it is i hope this type of analysis is clear now we'll again go back to our raw data and try to create our next analysis that is revenue by sales rep i'll just go ahead and delete this so that we can make it again from scratch so we'll go to our raw data we don't need this anymore we'll delete it again for revenue by sales rep we will have to create a pivot table so the cursor should be here we'll go to insert pivot table it has selected the source data we want it in the existing sheet and now we'll select the location there again we have it i don't want this so i'll just cut it and so in this new analysis we have revenue by sales rep so for the rows i will want all the reps name I'll put it there and again for the total revenue they brought to the company i'll take total and put it in values and there you have it you can get all their names and how much revenue they brought irrespective of the region that is all the regions they made a sale in it is all combined and you can see it right here you don't have to go and search for their names and add up how much ever sale they have made you have it right here now let's go ahead and do the analysis i will just select this copy and go to our new sheet that says revenue by sales rep we will paste it here the pivot table fields also follow so we don't need it anymore so we'll just cut it now that we have pasted it here make sure one of the cells in this pivot table is the active cell and then we'll go to pivot table analyze then click on pivot chart i want a bar chart click on okay this looks fine we'll click on okay there i have it now we'll make a few more changes in this chart so that it meets all our needs first of all we don't need this so hide all field buttons done now let's say by looking at this chart i can tell that gil has made a sale between 1500 and 2000 until and unless i move my cursor on top of it i cannot tell the exact value so let's bring those data tables so that just by looking at this chart i can tell how much sale has the person made okay we'll go to the plus button right here and we want data labels okay and looks fine we don't want any grid lines so we'll remove that and 
trend line now we don't want trend line legend also we don't want it this looks fine now we will make some changes as you can see it does not seem like a currency to me so we'll make this a currency and remove the decimal to maintain and give this a consistent look so we'll we don't want this anymore we'll click on this and we'll select right click from our data labels and again at the end of the list we have number we will make it a currency decimal places we don't want it it should be zero and the symbol should be rupees there it is and we're good to go looks fine let's change the color of these bars you can do it right from here shape fill and shape outline but there's another option if you just click if you just double click there will be a pop-up here and you can change the color and everything right from fill there's no fill right here you can see we have different color options so let's go with a shade of green let's go with the shade of green this looks fine this is better so yeah there we have it and let's change the title here we have revenue by sales rep and that is it this analysis is also over now let's go ahead and do our third analysis that is region wise object revenue as you can see we have mentioned all the regions that is central east and west and all the items that we have in which region how much sale they brought in that all we can find out from this pivot table so we'll go ahead and delete all this and make it from scratch let me just delete this also this is all deleted and we'll make this from scratch so the title is object wise or region wise object revenue let's make our pivot table we'll keep our active cell as this one go to insert pivot table it, the source data is already selected we want in this sheet as well and okay now i want all the items in different rows and i want the revenue to be separated region wise the only thing left to add is the revenue so i'll add in the values and this is done that is our table you can see just three clicks and we have it all right here and now we will just select the entire table and copy it and paste it in our sheet called region wise object revenue now we need to analyze it our active cell should be a part of the pivot table we we'll go to pivot table analyze and we'll click on pivot chart let's see what kind of chart suits the best so we'll just go with column simple column and we don't want 3d this works fine we have it here now this chart is separated based on on one axis it has all the items names on the other axis it has the revenue okay let's make some changes here we don't want any field buttons so we'll hide them all and let's see what other changes so first of all we need the axis yes axis title not required chart title yes we do need it data labels that is the cost yes we do need it then we don't need any grid lines and let's leave legend ticked okay that's it now let's change the title here it will say region wise object revenue now right here you can see again the numbers are not properly put so we'll make a few changes first of all we'll remove the decimal point let, let me cross this and we'll do right click format data labels and at the bottom we have number from general we change it to currency remove the decimal place and change the sign that is done for only the central region we have to do it for all other regions the category is currency zero decimal places and the currency and the last one category is currency zero decimal places there it still looks a bit clumsy what if we turn it vertically instead of it staying horizontal let's see how to do that as this looks a bit clumsy we will just go ahead and right click again from our data labels we'll click on this and right here you can see we have text direction 
right now it is horizontal but that is making it look a bit clumsy as you can see right here it is overlapping what we'll do is just put it as rotate all text to 70 degrees looks much better and it is readable so we'll do that every other bar and this looks much better so we have our last analysis done as well that is region wise object revenue now what we need to do is we need to combine region wise object revenue revenue by sales rep region wise sales combine all this and make up a dashboard you can see right here i had already made one but let's try and delete all this and we'll make up a new dashboard so we have our normal excel sheet called final dashboard right here and we'll take all these pie charts copy them and add them to our dashboard now we'll take revenue by sales rep copy it and let's say we paste it right here and then we'll take region wise object revenue copy it and paste it let's say right here the sizes it's not looking very attractive so we'll make some changes and just increase the size of this looks much better yeah we have all our analysis in this dashboard we can still do a lot of changes to make it look better so first thing that i would like to talk about here is something called slicer as you can see we have it right here called insert slicer we will select this chart and click on insert slicer we will just select region so we have it here our slicer for this pie chart now it is a kind of a filter let's say i want central i want east i want west i can see it all right here let's say i had more than three regions i don't have to go looking where where is my region i have to go match the color okay this is the region i have to find and do all that but right here i can insert a slicer and click whichever region information i want and then if i don't want it anymore i'll just click on clear filter now in the same way we will create slicers for all these charts again select the chart click on pivot chart analyze into a slicer so in this chart i have region wise object revenue let's say i just want to know which object is making how much sale so i just selected the item and i'll place it right here yeah okay so i don't have to go looking let's say i had hundreds of items so i'll just click on the item that i want and there i have it in whichever region whatever sale is made i can see goes for every other item can just by a click we can know all the information and then we can clear the filter if we don't want it anymore it's back to normal now we'll create a slicer for this chart as well again we'll select the chart click on pivot chart analyze click on insert slicer and i want to know which rep made how much sale so i'll select rep and click on ok there i have it another slicer for this chart all the names are here i can just click whomsoever's sales i want to know i can just click and know it i don't have to go searching for their name in the raw data and i'll just clear the filter when i'm done also one more thing we can do we can remove all these lines that we see behind the dashboard so we'll select the entire sheet and click on let's say on black that does not look too good i'll just select white that looks fine and that is our dashboard you can take a look like this we have analyzed all this data let me just clear that we have analyzed all this data let's say i had not just 40 i had more than thousands of lines it could have been analyzed this way and so that is it for this video thank you so much just a quick info guys if you are looking for data analytics course, then we have a good news for you. Intellipat is providing an advanced certification in data analytics for business with IIT Madras. The course is of very high quality and very cost effective. The course link is given in the description below.